Yes, people, welcome back. Today, let's talk about the old versus the new. I've never seen this one before. I like the old one. The general view is the new is always better. But is it? New Nike. Oh, yeah, new, new Nike. New Nike. Usually, you learn from the past in order for a better future. But how true is that? If you look at the classic car industry, you will see the vintage classic sector is crazy. So does this show how there is a feeling that the old cannot be replaced? So let's have a look at the Vapormax. The old and the OG versus the new kid on the block, the Vapormax 2023. Now, I think the obvious thing is to start with the Vapormax Air module. This is what blew everyone's mind, first of all. The OG brought something new in 2017 that not only caught the eye of the diehard sneakerheads, but the general public. They came kicking and screaming along with it. So let's look at both the midsoles. You can see that there's a size difference in the air module. The size difference is about a mil, a mil, a couple of mil. And to be honest, the new Vapormax module is my preference. Initially, there was no comparison. There was nothing in 2017. But well, this module, which in fact came out in 2020, I believe is better aesthetically. It's more sleeker, it's more comfortable on the foot, and it looks really, 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 really good with the upper silhouette. And one of the key things is it's definitely 100% more stable. So let's talk about upper. Both uses the flying upper, and as far as I know, the material used are the same. However, the patterns, the patterns are similar to one another. I think like new, the OG knit was the best pattern, hence why the 2023 was an evolution of the pattern rather than a new pattern. I feel Nike started to see sales of the Vapor Max diminish, from 2020 onwards and you probably could see this out and about because not a lot of people are wearing them so Nike went back to the drawing board and made the OG pattern with a slight twist now when I say a slight twist I mean the upper silhouette weave the Vapor Max 2020 seems to have a more airy and looser weave even though both have a snug feel on foot like right here right here is very snug. You either like that feeling or not. What I think is so much better on the Vapor Mac 2023 is the tongue. Nike has given it some junk in the tongue. You get me? The tongue is so much better as it adds to the comfort. You will also find the 2023 has some padding around the heel. The OG Vapor Mac tongue was fine, but look here. Take a look at this. I wore it one time and I over pulled and managed to rip the sides. That peed me off. That really peed me off and I can't do nothing about it. Okay, what do you think? Do you prefer the OG to the latest Vape Mac or are you glad on the progression and somewhat regression in the 2023? Mind you, both have a place in my collection, but the OG will have a special place on the basis. Well, this might be a bit corny, but on the basis that the trainer got me so excited when it came out which is very rare these days, that I had to purchase with immediate effect. Let's talk about the prices though. The OG Vapormax came out at a price of about £170 in the UK, which as a disruptor, I thought it was worth it. The Vapormax 2023 cost around 210 quid. This is a painful transaction, but when I got it to hand, pulled it out of the box, and had a look at it, I thought, this is a painful transaction. What do you think? Let me know, let me know. What do you think? Has the Vapormax had its day and it's on its way out? Has it peaked and now on the downward trajectory or is there still a place for these in the old collection? Let me know your thoughts. But for me, I'm still a fan, but the price is starting to price me out. I just think it's not worth it. I think it's just a bit too much. Anyway, let me know what you think. Comment, like, and subscribe. I like that, I'm gone.